Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is Psychoduck, and today I am here to weigh in on Recurve, the final BTB map from the Battle of Shadow and Light update. Recurve was a collaboration between the Faded Fire and 343 Industries. It's built on a sunny variant of the Glacier Canvas, setting it apart from the other Forge maps currently in the game. Recurve is a two-base map which draws some inspiration from Halo 4's Longbow. The map houses rocket turrets, splinter turrets, a spartan laser, and a scorpion, giving players access to parts of the sandbox which aren't readily available elsewhere in the game. Whether all of these items are a good fit for the map is questionable, however. Recurve was originally intended to be a map based around principles of squad design, including travel time balance for vehicles, a focus on infantry vehicle interaction, and a generally competitive atmosphere. The version you see today compromises these elements in favor of conventions of more traditional BTB experiences. Whether you consider this a good or a bad thing, there are some issues with the current version which should be noted. First of all, the primary lane along the low side of the map offers a straight shot from base to base, which can be abused in CTF when getting the flag on the back of a mongoose. Many flag runs devolve into fierce tug-of-war engagements along this exposed lane, and there's little incentive to take the flag anywhere else. The low lane also houses a neutral scorpion. The tank is able to act as a deterrent and balance out the fast travel times across this lane, but it is often immediately destroyed off of spawn due to its exposed position in sight of the rocket turrets and spartan laser. The bases themselves prove frustrating to attack, as there are no hard routes up to the roofs where the flags spawn. Instead, players must take lifts or jumps to the roof, making them appear on radar and exposing them to fire from numerous angles. The terrain surrounding the bases is also asymmetrical, making it more difficult to jump, jump atop one base than the other. Railings surround the upper levels of the bases, getting in the way of jumps and providing geometry for players to get stuck on. Recurve's most egregious offense, however, is the Sniper Lounge. This is a position completely cut off from the rest of the map, which provides dominating lines of sight. The sniper rifle spawns here, and players who pick it up have no incentive to move anywhere else. To make matters worse, the geometry within this position is cluttered, providing numerous corners to camp around. A shotgun spawns directly beneath this position, adding even more incentive for players to camp. In strongholds, players can literally sit on the couches in the lounge, and mow down anyone unfortunate enough to approach the area. Spawning is another area of concern on Recurve. The incredibly segmented nature of the high side of the map provides several enclosed pockets for spawning. These central spawns are too far from a player's home base to allow them to put up much of a defense, but are also too cut off from the low lane to give respawning players a fighting chance at stopping a flag run. There are spawn locations along the low lane itself, but these are so exposed that they all but guarantee a spawn kill. Despite all of this, Recurve displays a lot of potential. The bases, which are about the only artifacts of the Faded Fire's original version, are interesting and would be great with some routes to the roof. The concept of using a heavy vehicle to dynamically influence and deter flow on an otherwise open circuit is another interesting concept, which has been executed well in the past. And none of this is to say that you can't have enjoyable matches on this version of the map. Team coordination is encouraged, despite being hindered by unintuitive respawns. The Scorpion can be extremely rewarding to use effectively, and even the Warthogs can lead to some exciting moments. The fact that Recurve differs so much from the original vision of the map isn't so much the problem. The new layout has a lot of potential of its own. Sadly, the execution is just lacking in so many ways. I'd be interested to hear about your experiences on Recurve in the comments and in the BTB feedback thread on Forge Hub. I apologize for this somewhat negative review of the map, and if you enjoy the map I encourage you to continue to do so. This has been Psychoduck with the Forge Hub video team. Thanks for watching.